Hey, it's Laura with Healthy Places Surviving Mental Health Stigma blog. I'm here today to talk about avoiding the news to protect your mental health, but then feeling guilty about it. To explain what I mean, right now I'm in a place where I'm avoiding the news because it's negatively impacting my mental health. But then I feel guilty about doing that because of the kind of news I'm avoiding. There's a lot of stuff going on in the world right now that I feel is important to be informed upon. But at the same time, when I do watch the news, when I do try to inform myself of what's going on, it starts negatively impacting me. And the ways that I can do that very quickly are I become obsessive about following up with what's going on and the news itself is di just distressing in general. But I feel guilty about that because of the nature of the news itself. It feels like my situation of feeling negatively impacted by the news is not something that should be that bad compared to what's going on. But that's the key here that I want to touch on is the comparison game. When we t when we go into this whole comparison game of well they have they have it worse than what I'm feeling, then I shouldn't be feeling the way I'm feeling. And that's a thing that's rooted in stigma, that's rooted in self-stigma. So it's just important to remember that just because something quote unquote worse is going on to someone else, it doesn't mean that what you're feeling isn't valid and that you shouldn't protect yourself or take care of yourself because of that. It's still super important to be mindful of your own mental health, your own mental health needs, and to take care of that as best you can. I'd love to hear others' thoughts on this. I know it's probably a bit of a touchy subject, especially considering the types of news that I'm referring to here, but I think it's definitely something worth talking about and something we need to, need to consider. Um, thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.